As everybody, please welcome our guest for this evening, Sean Dooley. <laughs> How are you, mate? I'm all right, fella. I am all right. Um, yeah, just a bit of running about this morning, doing some self tapes for auditions and stuff, and uh, getting a bit of hour in on Elden Ring um, without the missus knowing about it. Um, yeah, so uh, hold yeah, on. Fun. Did I hear that correctly? What did I hear that correctly? You've been playing, yeah, this morning, dude. I just hit this thing, <laughs> I just had to stop <laughs> earlier on. So, um, so, uh, I, um, yeah, I'm a gamer, but I'm not go well, we're straight into it, aren't we? Uh, I, um, I was a gamer as a kid and kind of, you know, the Bruce Lee, you know, Daily Thompson's Decathlon and those kind of things. I was Spectrum ZX and hammering away and uh, on Z and X uh, on the rubber keys. And, um, <laughs> and then went away for it for a long time. I didn't get involved in anything. And then I, uh, I got a PS2. No, I got, yeah, and I got back into it. And me and my best mate started kind of getting back into the world of it and playing games and, uh, you know, you know, playing Doom against each other, and oh, yeah. you know, we had one telly, so we'd put a curtain between the two things. So oh, we could you play did split not. Three, you so did. we couldn't see each other. You got the yeah. curtain out. Oh wow, yeah. that's fantastic. We put it between the telly, sat either side of it with a beer, and we couldn't see each other. Oh, we had such, and we had a scoreboard up in our in, in our boys' flat <laughs> that had all our games on. Quake was one of our biggies, um, uh, and and yeah, and then. Again, sorry if this is boring. Sorry. If no, it's gaming. not boring, mate. It's great. It's great. Uh, then I kind of went away from it again. And then I hit, it must have been PS3. I don't know. I hit Far Cry. Oh, yep. Yeah. Uh, uh, Far Cry. It must have been three. Far Cry 3, I think. And I put this game on. And honestly, Dan, I just went. It's the one where it opens up and you're sliding down the, the mud slope and you're trying to grab hold of things. And, and I just went. <laughs> Wow, it had come on oh. in, in, in an insane way. It had suddenly flipped from kind of this pixelated stuff to mm. fully immersive uh, worlds that threw you in like a movie and beautiful credits coming up. And I, I was utterly blown away by, by that Far Cry game. And since then got back into it and then, you know, you know, vote on the BAFTAs in games and stuff like that. And so I'm a massive Miyazaki fan. So- Oh, uh, and, wow. Uh, and, and the Souls games are my, Bloodborne's my favorite. Um, and oh my God. So wow. I, yeah, I'm talking too much, you talk. No, 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 <laughs> no, please keep going. That's crazy. You're the first person in the cast that's actually played the game. So this is a fascinating take. No. Dead said that I've talked to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've talked to a, uh, a lot of the actors too. None of them have played. <laughs> so it's actually really good to hear that you're getting involved. So when you when you met him, were you a bit nervous, I'm guessing? Really nervous. <laughs> and I, I, I looked. So the job came, he came in and they went, um, and again, in my first ever game I've I've ever done a voice for. First, That's first what summer. I was going to ask you as well. How are you a gamer for all never. these years? And this is the first one. I yeah, can't believe never it. Done, never done one before. And the, the, a note came from my voice agent saying, uh, they want to see you, Liquid Violet, they want to see you for this game. Uh, it's uh, Hidetaki Miyazaki's game. And I went, ah, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Oh, is, it, is, it, is it Elden Ring? And because of course, but, and this was... January 2020. Oh, yep. I, I, I was a long way, you know, I've had to keep this quiet for such a long time. Oh, um, that must have been killing you. Down this, with all the Reddits going, it doesn't even exist, this game. And I'm going, <laughs> it does, I'm in it. When did it first get, was it revealed at that point to the public I or not? When, when was it? I thought it was because I knew about it. Yeah. So I, I'm... It must have been. It must yeah. have been 20, January 2020. It must have been. It must have been 2019. It was rumoured. But I we never saw they... gameplay. We never had seen gameplay. No. Yeah. No, it was nothing, was there? It was just the trailer. And, uh, mm. Yeah. And so then I did. I went into Liquid Violet. This is before COVID, and then did a little, you know, voice testy thing, and then got it two weeks later. And then I think a week after that, 
uh, Miyazaki-san was over and we were recording. So I, of course, went in and, you know, um, said hello, told him via his um, interpreter that I was a big fan of the games. Uh, said I love, love Bloodborne, then said, um, although uh, Sekiro, too hard. Sorry, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I did. How does no. he? How does he respond to that? <laughs> he laughed. He laughed. He did, yeah. <laughs> I just wow. went, no, no. I, I'm sorry, mate. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. So, but, so um, yeah. Continue, please. Yeah. So, um, so, uh, so I was like a kid in a in a sweet shop having this, who I consider the greatest game director from you know, and and. It, it, uh, uh, going ever and to suddenly be working with him was oh I was I was I was in bits I did I mean I did sign NDAs and everything but I did tell my 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 boy um, because oh nice how, ex- how old is he so he so he's nearly eighteen so eighteen so he was sixteen at the time and we're oh. big fans and we're big gamers together so of course I came back and went you. You're not going to believe, and he was, and I said, you cannot tell anybody, and uh, and it was brilliant because he's he's had to sit on this, <laughs> he's had to sit on it for so long, and kind of we've had this secret, which has just been brilliant for us. He you must know, be the happen. he must be the and, coolest kid in school. Yeah, my dad's <laughs> in Elden Ring. Yeah, biggest game right now, twelve million copies. Well, you know? I know. <laughs> There's a lot of his friends going up, going, "I've just met your dad. <laughs> I've just met your dad. He's under a bridge." Right. Yeah, so, um, yeah. Oh. So I was, I was, I was, yeah, I, I was properly, really chuffed just to have met him, and but also to you know just to work with him, and you know, yeah, brilliant, brilliant. So how was that process? Because I mean, did did you let the obviously you didn't let the nerves affect you? The the performance was brilliant, but how well, how did you go? So it start it started off. Um, and obviously, we, you know, we've all signed these NDAs about discussing things and everything. So, but um, it was a d- totally different person. Start with, but there was elements of Euro still there, different name, different artwork, and we kept coming back, and and he kept changing and morphing, and and I've looked, and the original kind of version of him it doesn't exist in the game, so it's definitely a metamorphosis and there were similar there were words being said that they were the same so he developed really i mean i was on and off for probably a year and a half for this character oh, and wow. it yeah. developed and tweaked and pushed and shoved and then then you're kind of coming out of it um but just as a side note on that first day with miyazaki because then covid hits and then we didn't have you know we, we, we were all zooms then um, yep. I, I do a character called the Fire Giant. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. <laughs> I've not found, I've not found him yet. Oh, so yeah. I don't know what's there. But um, the, what was amazing is because I've never done games before. You know, it was suddenly like, okay, right now, imagine so you're being stabbed through the chest with a big sword, and you go, <laughs> you're a Fire Giant. I'm like, I'm a what? Fire, a Fire? Is he covered in fire? <laughs> no, yeah. But I'm like, oh, okay, and. And I was just covered in sweat doing all these noises. And I felt it, it is amazing, Dad. It's a kind of, it's kind of soul bear. It's the most weirdly, I mean, I've done, I've done pretty much all, all mediums. It's the most soul bearing medium I've ever worked in, I think. What do you mean because, by that? Well, you've got, um, you're you're in a room. There's people watching you, and somebody suddenly goes to goes to you. Okay, now imagine you rip a limb off and smack somebody with it, and you've <laughs> got to go. Oh, how, okay, is that is that? Uh, ah, what's the first bit? Here? And so you've kind yeah. of just got to you've got to become a kid in a way, mm. and you've got to you've got to imagine yourself suddenly in that world as a giant, as this big thing and doing these crazy things. So in a way it's the most exposing because you can't hide. There's no character, you know, you're trying to find a character and develop him there and then. Sorry if I sound like a knobhead, by the way, but, um, uh, and you've got to, 
yeah, you've got to be brave and just kind of put it all out there and not be worried about looking like an idiot and that your that potentially your um, the the sound of you ripping your own head off is a, is is close to what they're imagining. Somebody ripping their own head off sounds like <laughs> so. I think, and it's it's really right. yeah yeah. It, it's yeah. And, and what what's beautiful about uh, Miyazaki San is that you know he'd be up at the window doing it with you, and he really he. Uh, he was helping me and he was doing that going, you know, like suddenly like um and you go, okay. And you go. And then you do it. So oh, he was that's amazing. He was very much very much involved and and cared about the delicacy of it and intricacy. It, it's just yeah, really, really brilliant. That, that first day to be in the room, I think, with him and them was 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 amazing. Really brilliant. I was you, really lucky, really. You can't yeah. write that. You know, you your first game, Elden Ring. <laughs> like, like you meeting Miyazaki son and oh man. That is crazy. Did you were you one to look at the reviews as they came out? Like were you getting oh, ready? God, yeah. 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 I d I don't look at any reviews of anything I do. I don't look at I don't even a lot of the stuff I'm telly and things i don't even want i don't even watch it yeah. back but this i feel like <laughs> oh my god it's out phoning my boy jack going it's out there's a trailer um uh, yeah i've been i've been really excited i pre-ordered the game to buy it uh yeah i've been yeah i was i was really it's nice really because i'm not like that over anything else i do i'm not i'm not whereas this i, I, I was just really excited and loved being part of it and um, a process, but it was such a process developing the character and finding him. And I have to do a massive shout out to Liquid Violet, to Adam and and Max. There, honestly, such a they're a, they're a dream to work with. They're an absolute dream. They just uh, they make you feel really relaxed and look after you. And you know, when you contribute, they, they listen. It should be, it, it was, yeah, really, really Dream team. great experience. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I loved it. I'd, yeah, I'd work with him in a heartbeat. So you're, where are you up to now in the game? How how far are you? Whoa, right. How are you so, finding it? I am a knight <laughs> of, a, of a player, right? I'm a, <clears throat> I'm, this is the worst game in the world for me because I, I hoard, I forage everywhere, no matter what game I'm playing, you know. <laughs> Uncharted. I go in. I head to the left. I check everything. Are you un you're an Uncharted I, fan? I, oh yeah, I love oh, Uncharted. Nice. I love them. I really love them. But um, the problem is with the, with the Souls games is that I I roll and I smash everything. I, every room I go into, I, in the hope that I'm going to find something. And my boy's <laughs> like, "There's nothing going to be there." And I go, "I know, but I have to check in case." Bit OCD, so yeah. I'm I roll smash, roll smash, roll smash. Um, and I, um, so I take a long time. So I think I'm 40 odd hours into the game. <laughs> I've not faced a single boss. <laughs> I've opened up, I've opened up so much of the map. You wouldn't believe how much of the map I've opened up because I've just been playing through and finding and finding portals and caves. And, um, and I'm currently this afternoon, I found myself, I wrote it down at uh, Karaya Manor. Korea, Korea, yeah, Sorry, yeah, 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 with yeah. the hands, yeah, 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 yeah. And I've just hit this bridge. I've just hit Grace Point. Gone onto this bridge, and I looked down. And I saw something because I obviously I looked down because there's a hole in the bridge, and there's a massive hand. So I know if I go further along that typical Souls bridge, <laughs> he's gonna come out and kill me. <laughs> um, so I have it. So I've run back inside. So I'm terrible. <laughs> um, my boy's always uh... like. Damn, Play the story through, and I'm like, no, no, I have to check everything. I have to level up. Um, so I'm a bit of a nightmare. So I'll, I'll probably be level seventy or eighty before I first face my first boss. <laughs> Smith and Stone's coming out of my ears. So have you have you met your character yet? Have you? Oh, mate, I met I met him. I've only met him once. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, under the bridge, I met him start with, and it was. I, I, I knew he was there, so I waited and I called my boy down and said, we're, we're going to meet him. And went down and that, of course, is the, that's the first time you know, I mean, because you don't know how much of your work's in there, yeah. how much you record in there. Mm. Um, and, you know, it's possible to go through the game and never 
meet him. So I mm. I went there and I went and, and, and met him. And is that a surreal feeling? Really, really surreal. And, you know, mm. having, you know, played the games where you like particular people or don't like, you know, Eileen the Crow. And, you know, you, I really like him and I, I like him as a, as a character. So it was really lovely to meet him. And then on the fight with Neregis where he comes in, you kind of just, I just wanted to step back. I was like, I'm helping me fight Neregis, which is what I need throughout the entire game. <laughs> I need two of me. I need the, you know, the Euro version who's going to get in there and smash things up. And the me that's going to go off foraging, you know, um, it was, it was, it was brilliant and, and lovely because also as well, sorry, again, getting too excited. Um, I love it. In, Co in COVID, what happened in COVID is because um, I do a lot of uh, documentaries and stuff. I set up, a, uh, I set up a studio, a makeshift studio, at home to be able to re record them and keep working and stuff. Yeah. And what happened is then we started recording from home, and to keep all the the noise okay, to keep the fans from the MacBook to one side, I I, I taught my boy how to use Pro Tools. Mm. Um, and nice. I had this set up, mattresses and duvets and sofas and all this, that I was inside and everything was wired to the outside to um, to our Jack on the on, on the MacBook running, running Pro Tools, recording our end for documentaries. And then, of course, it came in that they wanted to do a bit more on Elden Ring. So we had, in this room that I'm in now, we had me on, on the cans, I had Jack on, the, on a set of cans and... Miyazaki coming on and talking, and we were both waving at each other, going, and oh, he was recording wow. part of the game. This end, I mean, they were recording as well, but he was backing up and recording, and then we'd send them off. So it was it was brilliant because we were both like, well, he is a kid, he was a kid, but you know, we were both really excited at the fact that we were recording at home as well, something that oh. already back then we knew was going to be something quite astounding in, oh. in, in the world you could just tell you, you could just, just tell you just knew and and when has he made a bad game let's be honest as well, well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly you know the track record well, the speaks fact, for yeah. itself yeah. the fact that he takes the time to perfect it i mean and mm. and to go it's not ready you're not having it which is a very george r martin you know sense as well you know my book's not done. You can watch the TV series if you want, but you'll get the book when the book's ready to be born. Mm -hmm. And this definitely had the feel of that. And, oh, God, when you go into the world and you, st and you see how big it is and how populated it is, man, I mean, I, I just can't wait to be, like, 70 or 80 in an old folks' home with a VR set on wandering around this world. <laughs> So you kind of think, oh, what, what's it going to be like when we get there? Um, yeah, it's, it's fascinating. It's it's the the amazing thing about the game for me is the sense of discovery. Just if you just go off yeah. some random path, you might yeah. go down an elevator and there's this massive yeah. world. You've just yeah. you have no idea it's even there, and you can explore yeah. for hours. It's unbelievable. I don't think I've any seen anything like it in a game before. No. And also finding little bits like I found this huge doorway with a uh, that's just not open. It's just it's not open to me yet. It's got trees coming off it, and I can't get any way around it. And there's a massive lift outside that you can't uh, get up or down. So I know it's going to be coming to play later on. Mm. Um, mm. And uh, and I look across, and there's a huge kingdom out there with a you know calcified dragon running up through it, and. God, not so long ago, you would have hit that area of a game and it would have just been a wall or it would have just been a out of bounds. Or And what what, what, they, what, what they've done in this is they'll take you to the edge of the cliff or where the lift's supposed to be and it's not there and you can still see what's out there in the uh -huh. world. I see somebody who's sat right up at the top and it's really tiny, just sat there and I'm going, it's there. I just I'm, I'm just not at a point where I can I'm allowed through yet, but it's not no longer is it a wall. Do, do you know what I mean by that? Mm. Yeah, yeah. Oh man, I just I love the game. I think it's one of the best games in years for sure. I don't yeah. know how I don't know how he's done it because I you know Bloodborne and then 
Sekiro and Dark Souls. He just he never misses this guy. He's, no. a, he's a treasure. No. <laughs> yeah. And, and also as well, you can see through those games, can't you, how he always what, what's lovely is he's not he's not reinventing himself, he's just getting better mm. every day. And there's yeah. elements that he from that and though you can see you can feel those coming with him on the ride and he takes what works and goes, I like that, I want this to do you know what? I need to add a horse. And you go, yes, you do need to add a horse. And and it's it's that <laughs> he he just he's growing and growing and growing and growing, even when you think he's fully grown up. You know, that's the thing. Um so now you gotta call him up when he's on into his next game and go, Yeah, I'm 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 happy. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, I'm available. <laughs> I did a podcast. You need to watch this podcast all about you. <laughs> right, I was talking really good about you. Um, it's uh, uh, yeah, yeah, it re- uh, just yeah, amazing. And I love playing it. And and yeah, I've got lots of uh, toys. But that that thing about not knowing what's going to be there, how much you've been edited, how much you're pauses have been edited and what i love about eura is that they've really kept um his pace and there are a lot of times where i pause for quite some time and they've kept it they've just kept that i know and it makes it sometimes space with, yeah it, yeah, it, it gives it, it a realistic feel or something you know yeah yeah, yeah. Not, he's not just cracking on with the dialogue he's and I've I've Googled and watched his uh one of the things when you when he I think when he dies and you get his armor, I saw that and I was really touched because they didn't rush it through, you know, they let him end the lines. In, in yeah. Way. You might have seen He's, my video. <laughs> That's the one I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Might have done yeah uh, uh, sorry about that one. Was, <laughs> <laughs> but it was um yeah, yeah, it's 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 great. But what's lovely as well is that the game's so good that I, I'm not, I haven't once, God, I've not actually not thought, thought about this, but I've, I've not Googled where is Eura and I'm, or the fire giant. I'm not running through oh. trying to find me you'll, in the game. You'll find the fire giant. But, don't you worry. <laughs> will I? I'm so excited by the yeah. actual game that uh, if I come across me, that'd be brilliant. Uh, that'd be amazing. Yeah. But I'm not trying to get through it to find the bits I'm in. Do you know I mean? I'm not fast forwarding. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, you're just I'm enjoying it. Yeah, fully immersed. I love that. And what about the alter ego of Yura? Right, I've never met him. No. I didn't. Shabriri. Yeah, I, I, I feel like I can't say anything about Shabriri. We spent oh, so okay. long on. I don't know. It's really hard. I don't know if it, if it's what's happening. So you 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 uh, know something? You Can I ask you? Is have it? You met Shabir? Yeah. Have you met? No, I haven't. But I've heard theories that he's Yura's body, but taken over by someone else. You've heard yeah. that? Yeah. 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 You agree That's... with me? Or <laughs> yeah. Okay. There you go. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. And we had to find a whole new voice for that character. That what we tried to do was keep that it belongs to me still but it's but are you pretending to be someone else body. as well no it's something else in him okay but using as a vessel the body then is a yes a vessel. yes correct one, one yeah. of the things we talked about was that that because the body's the vessel the vocal cords everything every the lungs are all the same but there's a kind of otherworldliness to shabriri that we had to really play. So the voice is batshit mental. It's, 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 but if it's there, I mean, because I don't, I don't know if anybody's hit it. So I've not heard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People I've have. Heard you. I have. So I don't know. I've, I haven't, I haven't met him, but I know that people have, have met him. That's for sure. It's in the, well, I don't want to spoil it for you, but he's later in the game, he pops up. Um, actually, near the fire giant, yeah. Um, <laughs> so you might you're you're, you're a ways away, oh. but yeah. So yeah, that there was a stark difference between those two voices. 
huge, yeah. huge difference. You've got Euro, and I mean, so one of the things I can tell you is that in uh, in the recording of you, once we found Euro and where he was and his place, and he's uh, he's kind of very much he's there, and he's slow, and he's old oh. and wizened, and I love you know, that voice, man. <laughs> That he's, is such he's, a great voice. He's there, and um, yeah, he um, once we found that the way how I used to keep in him was um, I wore a, a big coat with my hood up, um, so that in the recording room, whenever I was you were I kind of because you were in his I like helmet, that. It, mm. I, I covered myself up and cut off as much of the world as possible. And I dimmed the lights. The lights were pretty much off, and so I could be quite just me in a in a in a, in a vacuum, in a, in a way, or just Eura in a, in a vacuum. And then when it comes to Shabriri, it's like the equivalent of lifting that off and as much bright light as possible, and brightness and light, and instead of being earthed and connected right. to the ground, Shabriri is more ethereal. Right. If Shabriri is who I think Shabriri, who I recorded. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, that sounds exactly right. That sounds exactly right. It's fascinating the law that they put into this. You know, it's not in your face at all. You've got to go digging, which people love to do, don't they? Yeah. Uh, and it's there, and it's brilliant, isn't it? Because it's there if you want to dig. Dig. And if you don't, yeah. you, you don't have to. Yeah. If you, you know, you want to go on this journey of the tarnished and uh melania melon yeah melania yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, and you wanted to do that and uh eleanor is she still there eleanor um... eleanor eleanor you i think talks about maybe yeah mm. let me uh, eleanor he talks about um i think you're right yeah he yeah, talks yeah. about any death that he needs to before um he needs to face not eleanora eleanor or Eleonora? Can't remember. Um, I think you're right. I think you're right. Yeah, well, yeah. I'm I, uh, honestly there. There's so many characters. Sometimes I forget. And I've played this uh, game for 150 hours, Sean. Oh, so have you? Have you? <laughs> did you do? So to start with, did you mm. hammer it? Sorry, you can cut any of this. Did you no, hammer no. it? Build up and. Uh, get to a good, you know, OP and then smash it. Or no, I, did you... I, I took them on, man. That, that was tough. Some <laughs> of those first boss fights. I should have, because uh, I hit a wall where I'm like, I really should level up, but I just pushed through and and got through it, and <laughs> and then really leveled. By by the end, I go... was I was level 200, so I was destroying. Yeah, I was destroying what? everyone. Yeah. What uh, are you uh, magic strength? What, what? So we saw. I was so. um I was blood loss like twin swords going right into their face, really getting the blood damage going. Uh, yeah. And, and was, what weapon of choice? The twin swords. There was a katana that I was using a lot that you get later on. Um, there was also yeah, there was a couple of swords that I put together, and I just pumped up those those stats. To, to get in there fast and quick. And I right, find that, I don't know if you found, there's a really good summon. The wolves are good, but there's another yeah, summon. Oh, skeletons. Yeah, but there's a really yeah. good one that copies yourself called the Mimic Tear. So you get to co what? another copy of yourself, which is the best one. Yeah. You need you need to find that. Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> so it's All like right. two of you, two of you going in. Yeah. <laughs> um, but actually, oh, I think brilliant. I think they actually did an update today and uh, nerfed it a little bit. So they tweaked it a little bit. They've done a few tweaks today. Um, I even heard that they added an NPC in today, which is bizarre. Um, wow. Yeah. Is that is oh yeah? Because my my upload it wanted to uh, do a new do um, an update. Yeah. Update today. Because I'm on PS4. I'm not on the PCs. I'm on the. Uh, How is the PS4 yeah. version? Is it going well? Wait. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 it. Yeah, it's lovely. Yeah, a couple of tiny little bits where you you can see through things occasionally. Do you know what I mean? But um, it's yeah, yeah, it's lovely, and the world looks amazing. And are you going to yeah. get a PS Five? 
<clears throat> you think? I think because I've got so many games uh, and me and my boys share when he goes to uni, I think we're going to have to so that we can keep still using the same account because all our games are together. Ah. There's no way of there's no way of splitting them and kind of sharing them. And yeah. so, uh, and I've looked into, I think the only way we can keep our account and keep our games together is that, is that we get a PS5 and four on the same account and then we, we should be able to yeah, use yeah, that. Yeah. So I'll keep, I'll keep the PS5 and he can have four. <laughs> <laughs> Cause I'm nice like that. I, I, I saw something cool on your, uh, I think it was your Instagram. You're watching aliens with him. I think. You get showing him. Oh few, yeah. Well, you were showing him a few of the classic films, which I love. Yeah. Giving him, uh, giving him a bit of a lesson in classic well, the, yeah. cinema or what? Yeah, and also because he wants to be a director, so. Um, oh wow. Um, he yeah. wants to be a, a director, so I kind of um, I'm educating him, and he's educating me on um, films. So I think that night we did Aliens. Uh, no, we did. We did Alien and Aliens, and then we've done a Rocky One, Rocky Two night, which was amazing because he suddenly, at the end of Rocky One, went, no, it, it can't, is that, it's ended. And I was like, mm. yeah, he went, you can't do that. <laughs> and for somebody who's watched all these films and huge film buff, to watch that film and go, wow. And then I showed him my favourite horror film, The, the Thing, Oh, uh, what a classic. And he was so shocked by what a classic. how well it stood up. Oh, it's amazing. Oh, amazing. it stands up. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. Prob- it's got to be top five for me. Horrors, anyway. It, yeah. It, absolutely. Easy. Yeah, e- easily. And then we did American Werewolf in London as well, which, um, <laughs> and I wanted to see if the transformation held up. And again, with, with him, he was just like, that. that's awesome. And then shows his friends and it's lovely so is he playing at Elden Ring is he ahead of you at the moment yeah he's doing I think he's two or three bosses in nice. um, and I think he's only done about 15 hours uh, compared <laughs> to my 80 <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. and uh, makes him laugh but, but then again I'll go yeah but look at my world and he'll go oh my god how have you opened up all that and I'm like you just run and you keep <laughs> running away from things and leveling up. <laughs> but whenever oh, you hear man. something, you run and you don't go out at night. You just <laughs> sit until it's morning. Because <laughs> I've noticed on a night, different things come out. And I'm like, no, I'm not doing it on a night. That's fantastic. So- what so, what yeah, some yeah, of your yeah. I want to know what some of your other favorite games you mentioned Uncharted. Is there any others that stand uh, out in the last? Yeah, since I, you know what? There's two uh, in the last five years or whatever that I think that have blown me away. Weirdly, ones on your back wall, which is God of War. Oh, yeah, what I, a game! What a game! I I actually no three. Uh, I loved I loved God of War so much, and I, I felt. I, I, I think why the reason we're getting clever with those kind of games and with the other game I'll, I'll mention is that we're not scared. I, I mean, God, like, um, oh, don't forget it. Don't, uh, I can help you out. Jesse um, and, uh, oh, uh, End of the World. Uh, oh, my Jesse God. Jesse Toro. What's this? Ellie. With Ellie. Oh, Last of Us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Last, Joel and Ellie. Last, yeah. Joel, Joel, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Last of Us. I mean, I I think there was a, there was a DLC to Last of Us One. Yeah, I cried. I yeah. cried. Cried playing. Pretty it. touching. And yeah. Unbelievable, and the fact that we can now do that in games and, and Last of Us Two, be really beautiful. You just feel and, and, to, and to, what was amazing. Sorry about Last of Us Two is to go on a to take that other female character without giving any spoilers away and run with her as well. And for you to flip your emotions on what you want to happen, incredible, really. Did I mean, you find really, that a confronting game in no, any way? I didn't, not, I didn't want to be her because... Yeah, that's what I mean. what she's done. Yeah. I, yeah. I, 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 it's no, a conflicting game, isn't it? Like it's... It is. and But then I think as soon as... As soon as you're attacked, and then it's it's a perspective thing, isn't it? As soon as you're, you yeah. see 
the other side of the coin and you see what she's been through, you go, I now understand what's led you to be who you are. Mm. And if I, the, the point of the game is that I'm in your shoes. And if I'm in your shoes, reacting to what you've been through, of course, I'm going to do what you've done. Mm. And, and that's what's really clever, I think, uh, about that game, which leads me to one of my, so yeah, the, the three kind of, well, although I did love Last of Us too. Um, Hellblade, Sekiro. Um, oh, yeah. Hell, wow. Um, thinking, sacrifice. Um, yeah, yeah. Sacrifice. Mate, Great that, game. Audio is unbelievable, isn't it? I started off with headphones um, and I couldn't, I couldn't handle it. And, and they've, I, I mean, I know they work with, is it Mind or Sense they work mm. with um, to develop the game on kind of um, schizophrenia and, and all that thing. And you had to take just it off. The fact that I took it off because I'd come up to a door. I, I went on to speak because I just took it off headphones because you'd come up to a door and you'd like open the door and you'd have, you know, don't go through, you're going to die. Go through, I think you should go through. Or somebody talking to you, don't trust him, he wants to kill you. All the way through. And I, it was a brilliant example about how people with neurological things going on deal with every single day, but yet in the remit of a game set in, with Norse gods and everything. Do you know what I mean? It was, it really upset me that, that feeling of having different voices in my head talking to me. So I came off the headphones and played it on speaker. Yeah, yeah. But I, I thought it was beautiful. I thought it was <clears throat> utterly, utterly beautiful game. Th those two. And then oddly, and I think this really connects and brings us back to Elden Ring. Um, a friend of mine years ago had gone on about this little unknown game called The Shadow of the Colossus. So yeah. I then got that and played it. And you do feel like there's a little bit of a love letter to Shadow of the Colossus within Elden Ring. Mm. It feels like. I you know agree, I of, agree. Yeah. You know that thing where you, again, try not to spoil it, but Shadow of the Colossus, you start to go, why am I killing you? Why am I doing this? I, I'm not sure. And even halfway through, I started going, I'm not sure I want, you're beautiful. You, you know, you're flying through the air in this cave, this thing I've got to kill. And you go, what a great you, game. Mm. You look, you, you know, and it's, <clears throat> and similarly in this, sometimes, you know, you, you come across somebody and you go, you just sat there, dude, you sat there. I nearly attacked a Smith earlier today. It was sat there reading a book. I was like, I came from behind. I went, he's reading a book. Reading okay. Book, reading you obviously book. haven't met Rikard yet. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be saying something different when you meet him. <laughs> so I was oh. like, no, but I know what you mean. Yeah. And, you know, mm. and there's turtles everywhere. You could kill a turtle. I'm not killing a turtle. I don't care oh, what no. it gives you. I'm not killing a turtle. No, no way. way. No. No way. I refuse. Can... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Same with the pot guys. They're they're off uh, yeah, limits for I, me. Yeah, yeah, I love them. Yeah, crack on, mate. <laughs> hey, I saw I saw this little viral video of yours. This might be a throwback for you with with Taylor Swift. Oh yes, yeah, yeah. Do you want to explain that to the people that might not have seen it? Um, so I did a uh, me and my missus, uh, me and my wife Polly, we set up a charity documentary making an album for uh, a charity in England called Save the Children. Uh, no, I'm sorry. For a charity in England uh, called Children in Need, the BBC. And basically, I invited a lot of my kind of famous friends to see if they wanted to record a song of their choice that meant something to them and record that. And we'll release it as an album and for forever, um, it will earn money for children in need. And because um, nobody is earning off it, there's no money going back to anybody other than it's paid back the costs of it being made. And then every time it's streamed, even if it's a small amount, that will always be fed back. And if a song's picked up and used on an advert or a film, that money will be fed back. So, uh, and we all did cover versions. And I. Um, you got a great I voice, think... by the way, just before you go. Oh, on. oh, oh, yeah. oh thank you. Thank, thank you, mate. Um, uh, I'd been singing this Taylor Swift song to my kids for a, a long time that they'd introduced me to, all about not growing up, and and it, it upset. I've got four kids, and um, my kids are, uh, and my wife, my, my family are my 
everything really. I'm I'm happiest when I'm in the cave with everybody home, uh, partners back as well if they want. People can come here, but that's where I'm. I, I just want to be. Um, and we're getting to an age now where they are starting to, you know, universities are beckoning. And how old's your oldest back. one? He's uh, about to turn eighteen. And okay. I've got and 18, 18, 16, 11, 9. Okay. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and you know, it's all, you know, you can't pause time as much as you desperately, desperately want to hang on to it. And, mm. And so that I chose I chose that song because of that. And then unbeknown to me, my wife Polly had through her manager and her PR team reached out to Taylor, Tay Tay, as I call her, <laughs> uh, and, uh, and said, Listen, are you around? Would you come to Abbey Road and surprise Sean? And they went, Yeah, we will. Um, all off their own back. You know, That's crazy. Mm. Sorted out. And she blessed. She just turned up, and yeah, uh, you know, and you had no surprise. idea. You had no idea. No, you were just shocked. No idea. I was just, and because it was for children as well, they couldn't show it. But I actually, um, I, I I heard this voice. I was I was in the middle of singing. I heard this voice, and I looked up, and and she was in the control room behind the glass, and she was just there, like some beautiful fucking angel, and I just went. <laughs> And, 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 she, and she went, hi, like that. And I, and I, and I actually said, you know, I've cut this out, but I, I went, I went really Yorkshire. I went, get to fuck. <laughs> and, then, and then she laughed, thank God. Uh, and we had to cut out the documentary. <laughs> Kids are watching it. I noticed children. when I watched it, I didn't hear, I didn't hear that part. <laughs> oh, my God. And then she came, and, oh, Dan, she was amazing. Mm. And she stayed and you know selfies with the, with my kids and my girls are all like, you are the most amazing thing in the world. That's and she amazing. was brilliant. Yeah. Uh, and uh, you know to give up her time for that, you know, for somebody who doesn't need to, do you know what I mean? For probably at the minute the biggest pop star on the planet, um, uh, you know, to be able to, to do that, give it up, and just do that big for a charity that, in her words, she said was she felt was very wholesome. That's a really lovely thing to do. Do you know what I mean? Mm. And I mean, she's so, yeah. a fan of yours and your work. I'm pretty well, sure. Yeah, yeah, but I can't. Yeah, but what was amazing? She then said, and um, she then said to me, she "said Would you? I've not heard it. Would you sing it?" And I went, "No." And she went, "No, come on, I'll go back and record it in front of me." I was like, "Fuck off! <laughs> I'm not singing your song in front of you." And then um, Olivia Coleman and Phoebe Waller Bridge were there, and they all just went, "No, no, no! Come on, come on!" So I then recorded it. Yeah. Uh, in Abbey Road, you know, home of the Beatles, in front just of just a small little place, yeah, <laughs> yeah, and, 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 and uh, listening while we recorded it. Oh, mate, it was that's surreal. Yeah, I've had quite a few things in my life that are amazing, and I'm, I'm, I'm privileged, man. I'm really privileged. Yeah. Oh. So yeah, go listen to the song. Listen, yeah, to it. definitely. Send five to the to children in need, <laughs> and leave it on playback when you're asleep every night. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, how does that sound? Let Eura, let Eura sing you to sleep. Oh man, <laughs> no, that is fantastic. And I, when I, whenever I see Olivia Coleman, I think this chick must be so much fun to work with. Is she? Oh, she's brilliant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah she's a lot of fun. All yeah. of them on that, uh, all of them that we brought in for that were they're just lovely and really up for it and. You know, brave because a lot of them didn't know if they could sing or whether how it, how it would be. So, yeah, yeah, it's brilliant. really brilliant. Oh, that's amazing, mate. Uh, that's a great story. I th anyone, please check it out on YouTube. I think if you just look up Sean's name, it's probably one of the first um, first things on there. Um, so I'll give you a couple more because I know you're a very busy man. We do appreciate your time, mate. Um, I no, want to. Right. It's nice to talk about. It. It's the first time I've spoken about it, so. Uh, to you so i'm uh yeah getting out all my excitable <laughs> year old boy energy <laughs> oh i love it i love it because all... and and i'm playing tonight so i'm yeah i'm quite excited have, have you ever thought about um streaming or anything like that have you ever thought about but you doing know what that? i have because i'm quite i have thought about it the twitch and all that because i am quite 
I mean, this is basically this. This is me in a nutshell. This is this is me. I'm like, I'm like, no, 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 fuck, 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 no, fuck. That's literally me. That's entertaining. That is entertaining. Hey? That's entertainment. You know, <laughs> you should look into that it is. seriously. Um, hey, well, my missus did say you've got to record yourself meeting yourself on the game. Yeah, that's, that'd be quite that'd be quite fun fun to do. But uh, that's a little viral clip you got to get. Um, <laughs> yeah. No, that's great. So, can we hear that voice again? I need to hear this era voice again. A, a little line because it's just it's music to my, my ears, favorite. Sean. Honestly, it, oh, well, it, well, my favorite. Go on, sorry, it's music to my ears. This voice, it's just so good. <laughs> well, I think my favorite line, his his line that got that I always used to to kind of. Um, link back onto the character to, to get there to find him yeah, yeah was yeah. uh uh was uh oh i feel nervous no it's, it's no fracking was um no no when i'm no one's here you're uh, um so it's really yeah it's down it's down there and he goes um was a uh it's my favorite line which is very which is him which is um don't let emotions stay up late Ooh, i like that one and um that's him, you know. Don't let the emotions. Oh, I've got stick. it here. Yeah, they're and mad. His, I think that's him. I think that's his character. It's he doesn't give too much away. He doesn't. He's so contained. Even within his armor, he's contained. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, but that's just, yeah. Just, go, just remember, always. no kinship with their oh, ilk with remains. Their ilk remains. Their madness yeah. preludes, precludes it. Don't let your emotions stay your blade. And then, does, then doesn't he say, uh, we'll meet again if if fate permits? Beautiful. Oh, the Beautiful. writing. You got Beautiful. lucky. You got lucky with the writing. That is yeah. phenomenal <laughs> stuff, isn't it? Yeah, be on your way. Perhaps we'll meet again if fate permits. Wow. I love, I love that. I love that all the lines are just here for me to read <laughs> online. Yeah, where are they? Where are all the lines? Have you got on Shabri the, with it? On the Elden no, Ring wiki. There. On the Elden Ring wiki. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's got everything. But, but is, Shabri, is Shabriri on the wiki? Yeah, I can bring him up. Hold on. Shabriri. This, 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 got, this wiki is unbelievable. It's got everything. It, it shows you a full map. All the bosses where they are, all the items. Oh, does it? It's a full cheat oh. sheet. It's a big cheat sheet. <laughs> it is. It tells you where everything is. Uh, Shabriri. Finally, we meet the tarnish who would be lord. Oh my. Oh. Why? Oh, yeah, that's one of the. The long face. You remember that one? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Chosen tarnished and would be lord descend into the lord. depths far below the Erd Tree capital. Yes. Yeah. The path of the Lord of Chaos burn the Erd Tree to the ground and incinerate all that divides and distinguishes. Oh, this must be a big one because <laughs> there's a lot of exclamation marks in this one. <laughs> my chaos takes the world. My chaos take the world. There you go. I oh, a... Yes, my chaos takes it all. That's a nice line. That If it's done how I remember it, that's yeah. kind of crazy, yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm really intrigued over Shabriri. I'm really intrigued over that character. Who what other characters are you intrigued by? They, have you met any anyone else that's tickling your fancy? Um I I do like getting a hug. Uh I do I do bob back and get a hug every now and then. Uh, <laughs> even when she even when she says, Hang on, you it's already full up, mate. You don't need a hug. I will have one anyway, don't worry. You know you're losing five uh, percent health for that, don't you? What? Oh, you don't know? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Every yeah, she she takes five you've gotta give back the item or you're losing five percent oh. health. Yeah, yeah. She's a bitch. <laughs> Hang on, is that is that my boy said? I was playing and he you know this little symbols come up. Sorry if this is Yeah, boring. yeah, no, no, little that's it. Come, and he went, You've got something debuffing you. That's it. Yeah, that's it. You've got the debuff. That's it yeah. is. And he said, You've got you need to get rid of that. And I went, I don't know what it is. I just say yes to everything. Collect everything and say yes to everything. 
I love how your son knows. That's great. Yeah, that's a D buff. Yeah, he's, yeah, yeah. Oh right, okay. He's on I to. Like, he's on to it. You need to get yeah. some more tips from him. <laughs> that's annoying. Uh, I like. Uh, I like. Um, who else do I like? I like the girl who gives me the Ashes of War that I managed to get back and set her up so she can buff my buff my Ashes of War. So I was really dodgy. <laughs> um, I, I like oh, her. do you mean the the, uh, the quiet girl or the other witch sort of girl? Which one? No, the girl who was at, at the at uh, the round table at the shack, and then I moved to the round table. And, yeah, yeah, and yeah. Set yeah. her up with the uh, Smith, and then yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, you've done all so, that. Oh, you've prog- yeah, you've yeah. progressed. You progressed. I know. I've got yeah. loads. I just I've not progressed in the story. So you haven't all. beat you haven't beaten Margaret. You haven't come across Margaret the Fellowman? No. Nah. No. Nope. Wow, that's is, so is, funny. Is he the first boss? Uh yeah, the first main boss, yeah. yeah. I've not even been anywhere where he's there in is the, a boss. He's in the castle. Stormville Castle. Oh that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I've literally not met any boss yet at all. If, when you're I've ready, you head into the castle when you're ready. Stormville, and then that will set me off. Mm. Yep. Right, okay. Okay. Well, I'm currently. I've got my stats written up there in case you ask. I'm currently level thirty nine. I think you should be right. Yeah. <sighs> it depends. What What's your build? What are you rocking? I am. Um, I'm doing a strength build. I've got. I've written it up there because I thought he'll ask. I know he'll ask. I'm twenty one <laughs> vigor. Twenty one vigor. Twenty one endurance. Twenty one strength. Eighteen dexterity. I'll tell you now. If I if I asked <laughs> if I asked any other actor in this game, they'd be like, "Sorry, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Call my agent. They'll know. Yeah. What's your dexterity? I can I can do it." <laughs> they, I say your strength build, right? So you, what have you got? A sword or what? Sword and shield or? I am on a. Oh, I wish it was up so I could so I could find it out. I'm Some, on a plus some... four sword. But I've just picked up the claymore. Oh yeah, you know, I've got the claymore. something like that. Yeah, I'm, kind of, I'm going. That could be a good one. I've got the twin blades, because um, they're like the twin blades of mercy, aren't they? That were in, um, uh, in yeah. Bloodborne. Yeah, yeah, yep. So I've got that, and I've got like uh, I've got a, a bolt for firing, uh, you know, a handgun thing for firing them, and I've got all the axes. I've literally I've found loads. I've just found a. I've just found this one sword that, uh, when I looked, gives me a 119 hit on strength, but also 100 on magic. And I was like, "That's interesting." Suddenly, got a blade that can. You gotta, you gotta worry. You, can you? Magic. You gotta think. Can I commit to this, though? You know. I know this you is know? a problem because I've <laughs> sword one. I'm like, do I, what do I stick to? What's the weapon? So I do keep watching best weapons of Elden Ring videos. I do. I do watch that. I haven't found any of their weapons yet. Well, you do. You can reset your stats so a few times. So yeah, how can you do that at any point and over and over again, or just once? Um, you can do it. I think ten times once you beat a certain boss. Yeah. yeah. Ugh, that's that's weeks away from me. Months. <laughs> uh, not that far. Once you get through. <laughs> once you get through the castle. You're, you're heading there. You're heading there. So, <laughs> <laughs> mate, there's so much to the wood. You, I don't know how much you've opened, but it's 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 unbelievable how big the game is. I don't know how they did it, really, because I've played I've played 150 hours and I still haven't found everything. No way. Not even close. Wow. Not even close. And, and the fact that you can drop underground now. I've just discovered tapping R three to drop the map, so you drop to the underground map. You just just insane mm. beautiful beautifully crafted and created and yeah I, I, yeah I, i'm a fan you can, you so you can tell. okay so i've got a question for you if if you approached or if you could pick any other game to be in what are you picking would you would you go god of war ragnarok oh god imagine that no because he's amazing He's so good, that guy. God, oh, well, amazing. you don't have to be Kratos, but you can be his, you know, in the game. <laughs> Boy. 
Oh, that's not um, bad. That's not bad, actually. Yeah. God of God of War. God of War would be would be. I'd be God of War, or I'd love to be a cowboy in Red Dead Three, Four. Oh yeah, like that. Imagine that. That would be. How's your cowboy? Like, how's your southern accent? I've played a cow. I've played a cowboy. Oh, you in, have. Uh, yeah, I did this. Uh, basically, this is this is funny. I was in Cannes, as you are, and uh, <laughs> a guy came up to me in Cannes, and he went. Hi, uh, I'm Jeremy. I went. Oh, hi, Jeremy. Nice to meet you. And he went. Listen, I've got a, a film I want to make. It's um, it's a werewolf western. And I went, yeah. And he went. I, would you would you play the lead and be the lead cowboy in it? I went yes. <laughs> and he went. Oh, do, well. Do you want to discuss? I went. No. Yes, I will do it. <laughs> I went. Are you serious? Well, I get to play cowboy. And he went. Yeah. I went. American cowboy. I went. Yeah. I went. Yes. One hundred percent. I will do it, <laughs> and then we did it, and it's a, it's called Blood Moon, and it's it's a it's Blood a low Moon. budget um, horror film, and oh my god, I had such a good time. Man, I'm spinning oh. gone. I've got a hat. Oh, that looks I, fantastic. I, again, another one of those things where you go. I'm pretty sure one of the uh, things that made me want to be an actor is probably cowboy films and Eastwood and all that. And, Cal and, Calhoun and is that how you say your character's name? Calhoun, Calhoun, Calhoun. yeah, yeah, uh, nice. And he's a lovely character. But I mean, it's, yeah, like I said, it's a low budget British horror, Western horror, and I loved it. It was just <laughs> a lot of fun. So yeah, love to play somebody like him. Uh, Red Dead would be would be a great, you know. I've just thing noticed to be part you were in um, Eden Lake and and Official yeah. Secrets. Two great films, those two. Both yeah. really good. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. yeah. Eden Lake's a scary, scary film, isn't it? I isn't mean, it? Yeah. Creepy. Uh, re- frightening because it's so really it feels so so real, doesn't it? That's the thing about it. That was yeah. um that was Fastbender, wasn't it? He was in that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. wow. Crazy. Yeah. I've done a I've done a few things with him now. He's a oh, oh, you... he's, he's such, such a great actor. He, he's isn't he? Oh. Yeah, it really genuinely is. He's uh, he's brave and he's bold. And uh, we were doing it. We did a TV series together years and years ago. And in the middle of this scene, he just let out this roar. And I remember at the time going, "Wow, that's that'll never stay. In. That's that surely that can't be. That's going to get right. cut." Yeah, and boom, it was there. And you watched it, and you went, "Wow, that's." That was amazing. Uh, and just out of nowhere. And, and it was then working with him on that scene that I then went, You're you you're somebody to you're somebody to watch. You're brave and you're mm. fearless and you go for it and you commit. And yeah, brilliant. Really, yeah, amazing, amazing actor. Amazing. Have you got any upcoming projects you can talk about with anyone I like I can't mention any of them, but, yeah, but I know. weird. I've got another <laughs> couple of games coming out. Which is oh, cool. so you've done more games? Yeah. Yeah. Games. Yes, Sean. Come on. Come on. So I've got two more games well coming out, uh, which, are, which are interesting. Um, and What does interesting uh, mean? They're, they're different. They're completely different. Okay. Okay. They're really different Just, from uh, what I've done as well. A bit more right. aimed at a younger market, one of them. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Another one, um, more kind of British independent, which I love, uh, and I love this particular company um, who make it. So, um, uh, yes, they're two really interesting games coming out, I think. In the next um, few years, hopefully. I would have thought this year. I would have thought this okay. year. Thought, yeah, they were done uh, in the last year, year, year and a half, I think. Yeah, um, right. And then feature film coming out that I can't mention either. Uh, nice. Uh, American feature film, which again is a lot of fun, bit of a cult classic-y kind of film that, um, yeah, should hopefully get me on to a few more interesting podcasts. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm interested now. This, you, you've really left me hanging, but no, that sounds bad. <laughs> sounds exciting. Yeah. Sounds exciting. It's good, yeah. Um, and then I've just done my first ever animation um, uh, last week. Which I can't tell you about. <laughs> oh, no. But that was my first animation. Well, I don't so know why so. I keep asking this question 
Because uh, I get the same yeah, answer every, every time. Now you're, yeah. you're now so amazing. Yeah, you didn't used to be. You're now kind of, don't tell anybody, don't. And there's a big kind of thing of not releasing any information, not you yeah. know, not saying anything. And it's a bit, it's a bit dull to be honest with you. I don't think anybody would care really if I turned around and went, I'm in this particular project. You know, the world's not going to go, Ooh. oh my God, that's just changed the world. <laughs> it's not going to change the world at all. I, you know, what I, I'm in it and what I really, like. other than dad, yeah, he really gives a shit. <laughs> Well, what I love is speaking of God of War, they released the, like the main cast like a year ago when they showed the gameplay. That was really yeah. I really like that that they yeah. showed the characters and who was in the cast and hopefully we see more of that. That'd be great. Yeah, yeah. definitely. And make it a part of the the build up package. Way. Yeah, because yeah. there's certain. I mean, who's that that kid? Is it Troy? Um, uh, Troy Baker. Troy Baker. I mean, even now, you know, I will go, oh, he's in it. Right. This is going to be good. You know, and, and you know, he, you know, he, he makes me go, I, I'm interested to see what you're doing this time, mate, because he's, he's brilliant. And yeah. they have started, I think, you know, um, Far Cry did it, didn't they, with their latest buddy. They released kind of going. Yeah. This Giancarlo. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, it was when we snake with uh, suddenly uh, your man playing um, snake. What do you mean? Oh, what's um, this? Who, what, what? Oh, God. Um, snake. Chalk. As in Metal Gear Solid? No? Yes. When it was Keitha. Is it Keitha Sutherland? Keitha Sutherland. Yeah, yeah. Keitha Sutherland. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Things like that. Suddenly you go, oh, that's interesting. Yeah. I know what you mean. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Keanu Reeves in, in Cyberpunk, you would have seen. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Although I've not played it. No. <laughs> are, you, are you waiting for the update, are you? I'm waiting for the patch. <laughs> You've been waiting a long time. <laughs> uh, no, it actually, it has gotten better. Still a bit rough around the edges. But the, the good thing about that game is the story and the characters are phenomenal. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Story and characters are phenomenal. It's just, yeah, there's a lot of glitches in that. But They just, they, they take up so much time, don't they? I mean, and especially, like I said, if you play like me, I mean, Death Stranding, I am still building bridges now and delivering parcels. And my boy's like, just get on. And I'm like, no, I've got to build these roads and create an infrastructure. <laughs> I'm like, basically, I'm like playing Railway Tycoon or something. Shit, and I'm you're... building all the You've played like, quite a fair bit of new games. I'm loving this. Well, yeah, because I vote as well. So, um, oh, so you have to, yeah, technically. Have to keep up as yeah. possible, try and keep us, you know. So, what's on your backlog? There. What's what are your next few after this? Do you have any lined up? I, <clears throat> I want to play. Um, uh, I want to go back and do Detroit. Become human. Uh, yeah, good game. Because I, I started it. And then I got sidetracked by something. It might have been God of War or something like that. And I got pulled away from it. So I, I, I really want to go back in there. And I, I want to start Red Dead 2 again because I feel like it lost me. So you've got a, guess, you've got a free month of no. I know. <laughs> I know. This is the thing. I just haven't got the time to yeah, play Yeah, that's, a, t that's yeah. a tough one. That is long. Yeah. Yeah. And if I go away film in the PS4 stays at home. So, yeah. Uh, it, you know, that's the thing, isn't it? Yeah. But, um, <laughs> yeah. I need short games that I can finish. Like little things like Little Nightmares. Oh, I loved Little oh, Nightmares. Oh, great little game. Yeah. What a great little game. Great art style. Um, yeah. Oh, beautiful. Um, yeah. So, yeah. It's just what a great world to be entering into and be part of uh, that community and that. And long well, may people not kill Yura. <laughs> Hope, Don't kill him. Hopefully we nice get <laughs> Hopefully we get you back when uh, one of these other big games comes. Hopefully you'll come back on the show, Sean. Cause it's yeah, definitely. Been definitely. an absolute pleasure, mate. Been brilliant, mate. And uh, yeah, and all the best. And is yeah, I'll is try and find you told me to find. Is there anything you wanted to say to the fans quickly? Uh, well, just to the twelve million of you. Thanks for buying. <laughs> 
I don't get any money for it, but thanks for buying. <laughs> oh, they should give you at least like one cent for every. No, you know, but, yeah, just one. Penny. Yeah, one, one penny per sold. Per sold. What would what would that get you? Uh, no idea. I can't do the maths. <laughs> Probably twelve pound. <laughs> <laughs> Still, you'll take it. No. I'd take that. <laughs> uh, guys, make sure to follow Sean on Twitter and Instagram. I'll have the links in the description. Anything else I'm missing that you're on? Don't think so. No. 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 Uh, no yeah, no, yeah. No. Nothing else. Yeah. You're not on TikTok yet. No, I'm not TikTok yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm avoiding that. And just before we go, mate, is can we get Euro to say anything to Dan quickly, just to wrap this one up? Uh, what can I say? I can say, um, uh, it won't be an exact line, but, uh, no, 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 anything. Um, you can call me a C bomb. <laughs> Dan, the tarnished. I hope our paths cross again, if fate permits. There you go. Beautiful. There you go. Thank you, mate. I Bring appreciate it. <laughs> Beautiful. Thank you, mate. No, I really Stop. appreciate it. And uh, hopefully we can do it again soon. All the best with the projects. And um, really fantastic job, mate. Lovely. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me, mate. Nah, my pleasure, mate. Take care. Brilliant. See you later, mate. Bye.